and you're going to fail, 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 and then you're going to win. For the most part, you're going to run into challenges in life, and if you curl up into a ball and complain about it, that's not going to help you. And if you say, okay, cool, good, here's some adjustments I can make to move forward, that's going to be a better move than than cowering. Your excuses will destroy you and take everything that you ever wanted from you if you let them. Yeah, and as I've said since day one, it's motivation is a feeling that comes and goes and it doesn't matter whether it's there or not. Discipline is infinitely more important. So no matter how you feel, get up and do what you're supposed to do. That's it. And that's discipline. It's not motivation. If you only did what you were supposed to do when you were motivated to do it, that's leaving it to chance. But if you're disciplined, you go do what you're supposed to do. That's the way it works. You know, if you're in a relationship with someone, it's not working, saying, you know what, this isn't working and I'm gonna move on. That's a good thing. You have to take ownership and that doesn't mean ownership, meaning I'm always at fault and therefore I'm gonna sit here and do nothing. It's like, oh, I'm at fault for even being in this relationship with this person, I'm gonna move on. No factor. The more discipline you have in your life, the more freedom you will end up with. So if you lack the discipline to exercise and eat healthy, you will end up being a slave to disease. If you lack the discipline to work hard, save your money, you will end up a slave to finances. If you lack the discipline to manage your time correctly, you will end up with no free time. If you have self-discipline, if you have the discipline to save your money and work hard and invest your money properly, if you have the discipline to manage your time correctly and not waste a bunch of time, if you have the discipline to exercise and eat healthy, you will end up with freedom. When your excuses make you feel a little bit better about the fact that you didn't execute on what you needed to execute on, then they can make you feel better, but they're not helping you. They're not helping you at all. It's a pretty amazing thing. It's a pretty profound thing to look at from the outside and and see it. Because when I was going through it, it was just sort of, I was young, I didn't care. I was gonna do it. There was nothing that they were gonna tell me that was gonna make me quit. I never thought about quitting. If they told me to get back in the water again, let's go. They told me to put that log on, on my shoulder, let's go. Put the boat on my head, let's go. I, I, I didn't care. If you're a kid right now and you're eating Doritos off your belly, I know they taste good and there's some immediate gratification and I get that, but I'm gonna tell you, it starts right now. Throw that bag of Doritos away, get rid of it. Go do some push-ups. Go spend $12 at the hardware store and hang up a pull-up bar in your room and start doing pull-ups. And if you can't do one pull-up, hang on that bar. And you're gonna start to get a little bit stronger. You're gonna start to get a little bit healthier. You're gonna start to get more focused. You're gonna start to become more resilient. And you're gonna start to be able to do a pull-up and you're gonna start to eat healthy all the time. And you're gonna start to understand the world better. And you're gonna start to progress in every aspect of your life. And you'll see that if you have that kind of discipline right now, you're gonna end up with freedom. And if you don't have that kind of discipline and you keep eating those Doritos and you don't work hard and you don't exercise and you don't apply yourself, you're gonna end up You're gonna end up shackled. You're gonna end up shackled by a boss that you don't like, doing a job that you don't like to do, with sicknesses and diseases that you don't want, relying on 
people that you can't even count on? Alone. And you don't have to. But if you have discipline, if you have discipline, you will attain freedom. I think that I think that's one of the few things that you learn in basic SEAL training is to shrug your shoulders and go forward. Like uh, one of the things they do is they'll, they'll line you up on the ocean. And this is in California. And sometimes people think that California is nice warm water, but it's not. It's 55 degrees and I don't know what that translates to in centigrade, but it's cold. And one of the things they do is they'll, they'll line you up and they say interlock arms and you get arm in arm with the guy next to you and they say forward march and you won't march in the water and they say take seats and you sit down and they leave you in there and it's called surf torture and you just sit there and they'll after a while they'll pull you up out of the water they'll line you up and the doctor will come down and see if anyone has hypothermia and if no one has hypothermia or signs of hypothermia yet get back in the water and they just keep doing that and so yeah it's uh you, what you learn to do is okay I'm going to go forward. There's no, I can't get out of this. I'm going to go forward. I'm not going to quit. So I'm going to go forward, bring it on. And I think if there's anything that you learn, it's to, to keep pushing through things that suck. And I would love to say like, oh, some, keep pushing through adversity, but this isn't adversity. This is just things that suck. It's one level below adversity. Adversity is when you're having a challenge. This is just something that's going to suck and you're going to have to push through it. Yes, discipline, it, it, it does start with waking up early. It really does. But that is just the beginning. And I always say that discipline is the root of all good qualities. But you have to absolutely apply it to things outside of just waking up early it's it's everything it's working out every day making yourself stronger and faster and more flexible and healthier discipline is eating the right foods to fuel your system it it's about disciplining your emotions so you can make good decisions. It's about having the discipline to control your ego so your ego doesn't get out of hand and control you. It's about treating people the way you would want to be treated and, and doing the tasks that you don't necessarily want to do but that you know will help you or help your team. It's about facing your fears. It takes discipline to face your fears so you can conquer them. And that's what discipline is. Discipline means taking the hard road, the uphill road to do what's right for yourself and for other people. It's so often the easy path, the easy path that calls to us to be weak for that moment, to break down for that moment, to give in to the desire and the short-term gratification. But the discipline will not allow that. The discipline calls for strength and fortitude and will. It won't accept weakness. It won't tolerate another breakdown. The discipline can seem like it's your worst enemy. But the reality is, discipline is your best friend. It will take care of you like nothing else can. And it'll put you on that path the path to strength and health and intelligence and happiness. 
And most importantly, it'll put you on that path to freedom. But it's like, oh, do, do you want to do this or not? Which is what I think a lot of it boils down to. Do you actually want to do this or not? Do you actually want to do this or not? Because if you actually want to do it, what's going to stop you? Nothing. And if you don't really want to do it, what's going to stop you? Just about anything that comes up. Just about any obstacle that gets in your way becomes an excuse. It becomes a reason. It becomes a rationale for not proceeding down that path. And, and, and this is interesting too. You, when you talk to people that went to SEAL training that didn't make it, most of the time, it's some reason. There's a medical reason. There's a family problem. There's very few people that look at you and say, oh, I quit because it sucked. Which is what, by the way, which is what happens to the vast majority of people. The vast majority of people that don't make it through SEAL training, and by this I mean 80, 90% of the people that don't make it through SEAL training, they didn't make it through because they quit. Then there's a small percentage that had a medical problem, and then there's a small percentage that got performance dropped, meaning they couldn't perform the runs, the swims, the, the, the technical aspects of the job, and they failed, and they get dropped. But the vast majority of people, they quit, but they don't usually say that. And even in their mind, they probably don't believe it. They probably believe, well, you know, it was my leg, and once my leg was hurting, I knew I was gonna have a hard time on the runs, and since I wasn't gonna be able to make the runs, I just, that's why I quit. But it wasn't really quitting, it was because of my leg. So it's, 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 like I said, it's a very, it's a very strange and, 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 and really kind of a, a mystical thing. <laughs>